Hi, this is Cecil Pruitt with Spatial Integrated Systems, your Solid Edge East Coast Value Added Reseller. www.sisinc.org. In this video, I'd like to address section views. The first section view that people become enthralled with is the ability to see a section view within the 3D model. Oftentimes this is great if you want to show off motion or show off 3D elements within your assembly. So let me explain not only how to do the section view within the 3D model but also some alternative methodologies for creating section views. Let's start out with the first method, sectioning within the 3D assembly. Within the 3D assembly we can always reach up under our PMI tab and we can choose the section button. By choosing the section button it will ask us to choose a coincidental plane. What is a coincidental plane? Well it's just a coincidence at which my cursor is at. So I will click on this face and it will rotate to my view. By zooming out I can find a view that I'm comfortable with. At this point what I really need to do is draw a, a closed, not necessarily closed, a section uh, cutting line. What I would like to do because I'm not capable of finding the key points that I wish to find, I will choose my include option. With the include option I can then grasp key points that I know that I want my lines to go through. So with those key points, or I should say with those lines included, I will turn them into constructions so that they don't turn out into the section. And then I will choose to create cutting planes. I'll have one cutting plane going this way, and I'll have another cutting plane going this way. Notice what I'll do is that I will now choose to do a connect. I will connect this key point with this line and now I have a very clean cutting plane. I'm going to choose to close my sketch and it's going to ask me which side that I wish to uh, display. Oftentimes I'll forget which direction this is. I'm going to choose to go this direction and I will choose a depth. As I click on my depth I'm going to hit preview and if I chose the wrong direction, which I did, I can easily go back under my sidestep and choose the second direction and then hit preview again. This gives me a very clear indication of what is going to be shown in this 3D section. Oftentimes though I will not want to just show this. I might choose to not section everything. I'll go back one step into my select part step. By clicking on select part steps I'm not going to choose cut all parts but I will choose to only cut selected parts. So I'm going to throw away my previous selection. Uh, I only want to cut this part, this part, this one. I'll also choose this one. I'll choose to cut a few more uh, fasteners. In this case I, I don't see them but uh, let's check it off and let's see what we've got. Alright, so I also want to cut this guy away, this one, and this one, and this one. And now I'll see that I have a section view that I had intended. By clicking on finish and then by saving this, I will have created a section view. Now this is okay, still not the preferred methodology that I would like to have. But let's now take this and put it into the draft file. This is great for the 3D model, but oftentimes people will demand that this be used in the draft by pressing save and then by going over to I already have a draft file set up here 
I'm going to choose to create a view and I definitely want this model I'll choose to place this model but yet you'll notice that there is no section view on this so within this view I must now go over to my properties and under if I'm not mistaken it's uh, under not under display there it is under sections I can turn on section 1a and apply it and now update my view so now the view has been updated and I have I am displaying a section view that was displayed in the model I'm going to click on sheet 1 now by clicking on sheet 1 I will show you that I can achieve the same uh, results for example in this case instead of creating the section views inside the model I could have just as simply created the section view in the draft we have something called a broken out section view by clicking on broken out section view I'm going to choose a view in which to cut I would like to cut this view notice that the uh, that the screen updates and as I go in and as I and as I go to create my sectioned uh, profile I have key points once more this is easier Now, if I choose to connect here with here, it is much easier to find key points without choosing the include command. I'm going to go ahead and close out this broken out section. And from this point, Solid Edge is prompting me to apply depth. Now, how will I apply depth? As I move over, any of my orthogonal views or orthographic views, I can apply depth. I'll choose this view to apply depth. I'm going to click here and go throughout the entire part. Now, so with that said, it's now asking me to apply it, to apply these settings to a third view. I'm going to click on this view. The broken out section view now creates a very nice section view through the, through the entire model. But once again, I'm not satisfied with the way that this view is, uh, is being created. You'll also see that I didn't have to go through and choose what side to, uh, to choose to be sectioned or even choose to select uh, individual pieces in the manner that I did within the 3D model. However, I do want to show some parts and not have other parts uh, sectioned. So this is how I would do it. I would right hand click on this view, go into my properties and hit display. From this section, I can choose individual parts that I wish to be sectioned. Or I should say from this display, I can choose what parts I wish to be sectioned. I don't want this part to be sectioned, so I'll turn off section view, view for it. Same thing for this part and the same thing for this part. I also probably don't want this handle to be sectioned either. What about this fellow? No, I don't want him to be sectioned. And uh, the nut, yeah, we'll leave the nut sectioned. So with this all chosen, I can now click Apply and OK, or just OK, and I can choose to update my view. Now once more, I have a view that I enjoy. But let's enhance it. Remember, this is still a draft. So under, actually, I don't have to go to properties. I could click on the view itself and tell the view that I would like for it to be shaded with edges. And now choose update. And now I have a very nice section view. But wait, obviously there is more section views than this. As I switch over to uh, I think I'd like to choose this sheet. I'll choose a regular section view. How do you just take a section of a model? Maybe what we need to do is a very simple cutting plane. I'm going to click on cutting plane. 
I'm going to choose a view to cut. Once more, the view updates. And what I would like to do is I'd like to find key points. I don't have to click on these key points, but I'm just going to find them. Click and pull down. Ah, it looks like I have my section view is a little bit askew. How would I fix that? Maybe I'll choose a horizontal vertical for it and make it perfectly vertical. I'm going to choose cutting plane, close cutting plane, and I'm going to choose what side that I wish to uh, display. I'll choose this side. From here, it's just as simple as clicking on section view, clicking on your cutting plane, and pulling off a section. If you feel that uh, your view is showing too many hidden lines for your section view, how best to fix that? Maybe what we'll do is that we'll go under our properties and we'll just tell it, hey, uh, let's don't do any hidden edges. That looks much better. Yet, there is still even one more type of section. I've been asked about broken out sections that are just partial. I showed you how to take a cut within a 3D model, uh, or I should say a 3D assembly, but what if I just wanted to show broken out section on, say, one uh, hole? This is often asked for, so how would, how would a person do this? Once more, you would choose your broken out section view. You would click on a view, and from here, you would create a profile. I would like for my broken out section view to look very similar to this. And once more, close it up. Now I'm going to choose the close broken out section and give it depth. Well, how am I going to give it depth? Well, guess what? I have this view over here. I'm going to choose to find the center point of my hole. So with that done, I'm going to choose the same exact view to apply on. So in this case, I now have a broken out sectioned view. If you desire not to show the broken out section outline, it is very simple, by the way, by clicking on the broken out section outline, I can even uh, modify the depth or even choose to modify the profile. Let's say that I wanted to modify the profile. I could click here and change the line segments. Or I could click on the view, go under properties, and then under, I'm pretty sure it's under, I think it's under general, Yes, and choose Don't Show Broken Out Section View Profiles. And now our broken out section looks like this. So I've shown you several different methodologies to apply sections with inside Solid Edge ST6. Section views from the model, sec broken out section views from orthographic views, section views from single views, broken out section views for certain areas. I hope you enjoyed the recording.